Well, thank you, Senator Capito, and also to Senators Barrasso and Toomey. It's been great to work with uh, all three of these senators uh, on this good faith effort and this, uh, this um, uh, um, serious effort to get negotiations started with uh, President Biden and our uh, Democratic colleagues in the House and Senate. I was fortunate enough to be in the Monday meeting in the White House with the President and Vice President some 10 days ago. There were other Republicans who met in the Oval Office on Monday of this week. Um, now, uh, today, after talking to many of our colleagues, and particularly the three people behind me, uh, I'm pleased to come forth 10 days after meeting with the President with, uh, with an offer that really uh, should address what most Americans think of as infrastructure. So, uh, as Senator Capito said, what is infrastructure? It's highways, bridges, it's water and wastewater, it's ports and rail, airports, and certainly we're all agreed that broadband is part of it. So, uh, we, we take the part of the president's plan that most Americans agree is real hard infrastructure. We give it our touch and, uh, and, and we, we think we have a, a very good number here. Let me just also point out a couple of things. Congress is accustomed to working on infrastructure in a bipartisan way. The four committees that we represent here uh, have time and again over the decades and in past years worked on infrastructure bill on a bipartisan uh, way. And as Senator Capito said, there's legislation that we hope is pending in the next week or two. Uh, with regard to some of this infrastructure. But examples of this would be the FAST Act, Word of Bills, FAA reauthorization, things that we've done with, by consensus uh, over the years and uh, we, we think we can do again. This is a big proposal. A billion dollars is a lot of money. $568 billion is a lot of money. Now, when we were uh, doing COVID and, and uh, the, the economy was skidding toward a depression, uh, we talked in terms of trillions. But let's, let's not forget that a billion dollars is an enormous amount of money, and $568 billion is a very, very generous offer in, um, in dealing uh, with, with infrastructure. It will get us a long way uh, to where we want to go in a, in a five-year plan. I'm disappointed. Uh, though I guess not surprised that some of our colleagues have rejected this before even seeing it. We got it to the president um, it, about half an hour ago. We hope he and his team are looking at it. And we think a number of our Democratic colleagues will want to negotiate with us about it. We're ready to start this afternoon. We're ready to put our staffs together this weekend here in the Senate and also with the um, with the, the White House, let me say one thing about, um, about broadband. Um, the, the $65 billion uh, was arrived at in, in, a, uh, in a considered um, manner. $81 billion was received from the C-band auction. $16 billion uh, went for the, the cost that we expected, and that gives us $65 billion. If you take that $65 billion, and add it to $40 billion that's already in the pipeline, that's already been passed by this Congress, it gets us very close to the President's $100 billion. And, uh, and I think that that is a most generous um, figure that we'll have a hard time spending, but I think we can spend it. If we get the maps right and we get the data correct, we can do that within the next five years.